This is a video by informativetraders.com. Uh, uh, this is trading areas space first consolidation. Uh, I've got four signals on the chart circled here that I want to talk about, and they're in different areas of the chart. Um, we've, we typically see two types of areas. You've got areas of consolidation or areas of space where price is trending. Now, the areas that I've got shaded are, pro are areas of consolidation, and they're typically areas of sideways movement where price is flipping back and forth, um, and it's not trending. And then, obviously, you've got areas of space, which is typically areas like this, where the price is trending down or trending up, and there's space to the left of it. Now, if we look at these signals, uh, this first one up here is a pin bar reversal. Um, and the first thing I notice is we've got bar highs and bar lows, and we've got a lot of flipping of price and the immediate left of it, which means we've got orders, a lot of orders in there. Um, and typically, this would be a, like a higher risk trade because of this noise to the left of it. You're going to get um, price starting back and forth and there's a possibility you may get stopped out. Um, as you can see here it did fall and but it only fell a little way. It consolidated sideways and then it came back on us. So in this case you may have got out of break even. Um, the next one is an outside engulfing bar and now this one's even worse because we've now got this other area of consolidation we've got two areas pretty much to the immediate left where there's more orders now have built up and it's high risk trying to take this trade into that those areas to the left um, price is going to flip back and forth again as you can see we did fall a little bit and then it shot back on us uh, hopefully, if you were to take that trade, you got out at break even, or you would have been stopped out further up. So two trades where you may have made some small profit, but the risk was a lot higher. If we look at the two other trades on the left-hand side here, the first one is an engulfing outside bar. Now, the first thing I notice is we've come out of consolidation range here where prices flip back and forth. And we've fallen pretty hard, and then we've seen this engulfing bar. Now, if you look to the left of it here, there's no areas of support and resistance. There's no there's no areas that are going to hold this price up or support it. So, as you can see, it's fallen off pretty hard, um, and would have been a really good trade to take. Now, as we see down here, we've got another. We got a pin bar reversal here. That was a continuation signal. Now this one's a reversal signal. We've seen a, a double bottom. We've had strong buy, uh, buyers come in. We've had a pin bar reversal. Now just as the price has come down hard, normally in this case, because there's no, like I said earlier, there's nothing here to the left. There's no resistance. The path of least resistance is up now with these buyers coming in, and that's what it does. It takes back off up. I see it a lot on the on the charts. It's like a V pattern, and I like to look at it like a, it as if it was a rubber band. Price has been stretched, and it flings back. Um, and that would have been another another good trade. Obviously, you are going against the trend there, which I don't like to do. Um, but in this case because of this space it would have worked out to be a good trade no trade is is ever you know you can't predict where the price is going to go um, you can only watch for the signals and, and pick the right signals in the right areas um, but yeah that's that's just four examples of, of taking signals and in the in, in different areas how you can get different results um, and I definitely only take trades in areas of space. I think it's a great rule to have in your trading plan. And that's it. Thanks.